What is going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and today we are finally bringing you back some Senren Kagura aka Buxom Girls. We in this bitch man. Um, last episode we actually got some really deep back lore to the story and um, shit was actually really fucked up. Um, we learned that the head of the um, Hanzo, act well not maybe not the head of the Hanzo but at least their instructor actually had a student beforehand who befell some really tragic stuff going on after he made her pass a test which she was not ready for. He cheated for her, she got fucked up. Um, the names escape me at the moment, but we are still ready to play some Samurai Kagura, man. I'm excited about this, and I've been meaning to progress more in the story, considering how extensive it seems. Um, I've been doing some gameplay as well, too, and as you can tell from the title of this video, and if you're watching it live with me as well, I, I got a thing for Yagyu, man. Is that how you say her name? Yagyu? That, yeah, I'm sorry, man. That, that's my main girl right now. I thought it was that girl Hibari, but Yagyu, I don't know. She, she's... There's something about her, man. I can't, I can't explain this shit. I just can't. You know how sometimes you just like somebody and you can't even name why? That's the same thing I'm in right now. But anyways, guys, without any further do, um, delay, we're going to get into this. And I see you guys in the chat right now. Everyone's going crazy. Thank you for joining my black ass as we play this game. Um, Linkmaster is in this bitch once again with the donation, man. God damn, you need to chill, man. You need to keep some of that money in your own pocket, bro. You, uh, you, you, you're giving me more money than you have for yourself, dude. Even though I do appreciate it. Um, as usual, of course, any donations that are given are gratefully accepted guys uh thank you so much thanks to you dudes that i'm able to pay some bills this month um considering how crazy vegas got i didn't even know where the fucking money was coming from but you guys helped me out so much so i appreciate it from the bottom of my black balls trust me on that anyways so let's get into the gameplay Damn, itself son, i got my 3ds right 50 dollars from this dude hr what the fuck are you doing a 50 dollar donation dog Bro, let's do this right now. Also, good to see you again, and good to be back. Now, who will top me? This dude donates and then threatens everybody with a top spot. How do you set off a stream any better than that? How do you set off a gameplay video any better than that? Let's get into this shit, man. HR, you bring the hype, baby. You bring that damn hype. God damn. Yo, on a Tuesday, it's a fucking Friday. On a fucking Friday. Damn, someone just got paid. <laughs> Shit. Damn, though. Thank you, man. Yo. Already, we're starting this off on a great note, man. I mean, you know, the money's one thing, but just seeing the people hype for this shit, I'm seeing that chat, man. I'm seeing that chat. But I ain't further delay. Let's get into it. Oh, shit. My headphones popped up. Damn, man. We in here, man. Senren Kagura. We live, baby. I'm ready to have a good time in here. Let's go. Um, let's just hit continue. And we're going to load. Also in the last episode, we managed to actually see the Hebijo. Um, and we had a little bit of a conflict with them. Katsuragi, she managed to get really beaten up for some reason, even though we won the fight. Um, I don't think we actually used Katsuragi though, so um, I don't know. But according to, I guess, the chronological story, uh, Katsuragi gets fucked up when the Hibijo come through. So that's the way things are for now. And it's that girl, with, that's, it's that creepy chick with the green hair that messed her up too on top of it all. So understandably, everybody's kind of going through a review of their own willpower and trying to understand exactly where they stand when it comes to supporting their um, their group Damn, here. Son, you um, find this? Distressed dark skin. Hey boss, <laughs> I'm sorry that I can only give a dollar, but I'm sorry my two inch fully erect yet flaccid penis can only supply my family so much. What the fuck? But <laughs> follow me on MySpace. Here it is. Um, Etika's... Etika... Etika Slut Twin Tower, thank you so... I mean, damn man, you, you fucking shit on yourself really hard bro, but um... I still do appreciate it a lot, man. Thank you so much for that fucking donation, man. We are in here, man. The donations are insane, man. You guys, you guys blow me the fuck away. Without, with, with, with no doubt, man. You guys, it, it's insane. So we are on chapter two right now. We're moving a little bit slow, so hopefully we can get some really good story progression here. We have Katsuragi training. So this is a special training with straw target posts. It's a classic method. Destroy 30 of them by any means within the time limit. And it looks like that one's going to be one that's more story related. So proceeding with mission, skip event. No, I want to do something that, um, I want to do something that, you know, will progress the story. Um, how do we progress the story? Intercept Ibijo? 
students from Hibijo Academy are attacking us. They are still Eva Shinobi, so show them the results of your training. So, accept the mission. Let's just do this, yeah, because it doesn't look like we have any that are exclusive to one person. So, hiya. The sword's tip Damn, paints a straight son, line of silver. Um, the Omni Blade donated, saying, Etika, I want to thank you for reminding me about Palutena. Now I have some paychecks coming. I can finally donate to your black ass. Expect more of this stream. God damn, Omni Blade, man. The foreshadowing, man. I, I appreciate it so much, man. Even you don't you don't have to donate a ton, man. Like I mean, you don't have to donate at all, dude. Just I'm just glad to see that people are enjoying themselves in here. But yeah, that dude really did ask for MySpace, now, didn't he? <laughs> the sword I wield is a blade of superlative quality, and an heirloom passed down in my family named Hein, the Flying Swallow. I bear the Flying Swallow. <laughs> oh yeah, I know they swallow her. Right? <laughs> this is fucked up. I shouldn't be saying things like this. <laughs> oh god. Um. I return high into his sheath and let out a breath. I feel that my swing is turning like luster. My endless training is beginning to tire me. I cannot afford to cut curves. I'm dealing with the ideas. I have a myself and I have nothing. Um, let me know if you guys want me to read it out loud. It's just a little bit easier for me to read through it faster when I'm not forced to put emphasis on the words themselves. Um, at least for cutscenes like this, because these um, these are more like visual novel segments, and they require a lot of effort to read through. Damn, so I hope you, you don't mind me this? just reading through it really quick. Um, let me know if you do mind. Um, Poppy Silly says, "Remember me. Good luck with the frame rate." Um, I'm gonna try my best, man. I my memory fails me a little bit when it comes to your name, but I won't forget it now at this point. Poppy Silly. I remember Poppy, but not the silly part. Either way, thank you so much, man. Um, Damn, son, so where'd you find this? Infinity Alex is in here too, man. Dropping by to ask when the next subscriber battle is taking place for Smash 3DS. So you want that ass bust? Um, I know you're not all about Smash, but I got my circle pad fixed and I'm hyped to fight you. Enjoy the dollar, my man. I definitely will, dude. Um, and trust me, you can get that ass bust very soon. I'll let you guys know in a video. I laid Damn, down son, and for it. Um, let me see. Five dollars from egg on your face. Oh, I remember you. It's waifu time. Let's go, man. And like I said, man, there's something about that Yagyu girl, man. I I, I can't explain it, bro. Um, I lay hind down and bobble forward, and then I do the rivet to remove the hilt myself. Let me see what you guys are saying here. Um, some people want me to skip through the story here, but there's no way in hell. I'm just going to read through it. Um, I used the paper and wipe the clean of oil and dirt a dozen times so the metal cause to the hilt to the tip. Wow. Wait a minute, I use paper and I wipe the blade clean of oil and dirt a dozen times from the metal collar and the hilt to the very tip. Is that some innuendo that I sense in there? Proper care of a Japanese sword is an act of respect for one's ancestors and as a means for sharpening the mind. Asuka and my other friends arrive. Exchange a friendly good morning and a lively conversation begins. Did I really training? That's Okay. So, Ikaruga is the class representative? I thought Asuka was. Um, genealogy? What the hell is this? Predictably, Kataragi raises her voice to complain. Um, final family trees. Oh, so genealogy, yeah, they're going to be researching their backgrounds apparently, so this should be interesting for some backstory as well, because we're going to be able to see, you know, maybe some origins as to why certain things are the case with these girls. Like, why does, why does Yagyu have that eye patch, and why does Hibari have that pink cross-eyed thing? I mean, I don't know. Um, distressed dark skin. Oh, okay, here we go, man, you here again? Hey boss, it's me again. I got a question for you. How do you deal with lemon-stealing whores? Right now, my penis actually isn't flaccid anymore. It's uncertain bleach, so I can't satisfy. What the fuck? Dude, how many references are you going to make? How many references Damn, are you son, going to make? Um, bust my ass. Oh, sweet summer child. In the rematch, I'm bringing my main man Mewtwo to spank your sexy red robin ass. <laughs> Just let me know when you're ready to get dumped on. But I... We'll see what happens, Infinity, man. I, I see a lot of shit talking, man. I, I, you, you better be ready to deliver when we get into that ring. Okay. Isn't Hibari like a tactical genius or something like that? Or maybe like she's more of a genius when it comes to um, in intel collection. I don't know. Um, making a shinobi family tree. So they're trying to really get into where their roots are from. Um, how far back should we go? Damn, 
son. Where'd you okay. find this? Um, Mr. Nene, once again coming through. I've spent all my money on your damn news channel. I need to catch some of that Red Robin sometime. Nene, man, you really want it? You can get it, man. When I stream again, I'm gonna watch out for your name. Um, with that, thank you so much, though. Um, She's done just like that? Damn, son, where'd you find this? Um, the game Samler. Etika, do you know me too? Um, you dressed at the Gamescom? Game from Germany? I'm sorry, man, the game Samler. I'm, I'm not too familiar with your name, but, um, still, man, at least we can get familiar now, bro. Thank you so much for that contribution, dude. Um, okay. Damn, son, where'd you find this? I finally caught your live stream. Keep up the good shit, Ice Man. George Ironstar, thank you, man. I got too many to count. This sucks. It comes from a long line of shinobi. Really now? Okay. Ikaruga, what's going on, girl? Really? So her brother is a lame businessman instead of being a ninja god. Damn, son, where'd you find this? A dollar from HR. Get on with the game. We can't wait to see that waifu action. Don't make me blow the hype roof off this place. Um, I don't want to skip this. I want to see what's going on with the story. My brother's name is not included. My, fan My name is where his would have been. Really now. Really now. Damn, son, where'd you find this? A dollar from Silver Absol. Um, oh, shit. Silver Absol. Um, while watching a hentai right now in the X videos, like any rational human does, I see you're on the front page of the hentai tag. Reminded me that the stream was going on, really? So you were fapping and you saw my video pop up on X videos and said, Oh shit, Etika, <laughs> let me clean up real quick. Um, what's wrong, Ikaruga? Damn, son, where'd you find this? Damn, these donations are coming in like crazy. Um, Plasma Stormer. Came here when it started, this is definitely one of the greatest games to watch. Hope you didn't forget about the lotion, my nigga. Forget about the lotion? What the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck do you, you think this, this is? You think you? I always have my lotion ready. Always. It's always on me. I'm always strapped. I'm ready anytime, anywhere, any place, any situation. Um, Infinity Alex, you can call me Zero because I'm gonna go burn down <laughs> Twitter with my shit talking. <laughs> me laughing. Damn, son. Um, you damn these donations. Continue with the game. You'll learn more about the character's backstory, so don't worry. I know some people are just waiting for our Robin versus Robin fight. Linkmaster, he's he wants to get that ass bust, man. I can tell. Lunchtime. It's a pleasant breeze. <laughs> Try to quit it, yeah. Oh, isn't like um Yagyu's family represented by Squid? Because whenever she does her special, you see Squid in the background. Ikaruga, man. Who's there? Oh shit! Who's this? It's her older brother? What are you doing? He's stealing it? Is he stealing the fucking family heirloom sword? What the fuck's going on here? Hold on a second. Something's fucked up's about to happen. Give me a second. I gotta figure this out. Wait a minute. So her brother, even though he's a businessman, for some reason this guy has some some drive to take the fucking sword. Wow. What? Wait a minute, they're not actually blood related? Alright, this is getting fucking juicy. This is getting fucking juicy. Wow, really? Damn, Holy shit. Son, where'd you find this? Um, egg on your face, you in here. Fapping with Etika, man. Yo, I did that segment already <laughs> before we started the stream. We're good. Um, Shin is mine. So her brother is not actually going to be able to use the sword, but he's still trying to take it? Damn, son. 
son. Where'd you find this? Um, Nova Arctic says, Hey, Etika, my first time donating here. I just wanted to say that you're a great entertainer and I love your videos and broadcast. Keep up the good work, man. Nova, your first time, dude? Well, you know what? I, I appreciate that you used your first time donating on me, or at least first time donating here, at least. Um, $5 goes a long way, dude. And I can't explain this enough. Thank you so much, Nova, and I hope you're having fun. I know it gets a little slow paced with all the reading stuff, but I'm trying to get through this as fast as possible. Um, someone said, when does the fucking start in the goddamn chat? When I don't know if there's any fucking in this game, bro. It, it seems like there's a lack of men. They just have girls with, you know, wearing next to nothing. But there's no dudes to fuck them in the first place. God, not that girls need a guy to fuck them all the time, but I mean, you know, I'm just saying. Um, if only you weren't around. When father heard of a distant relative who was using. Damn. Do not give Ayn to anyone else. So her sword is Ayn? Ayn? Hien. Hien. That's how you say it. Hien. So her brother is literally like pissed off with the way life went. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Poppy's silly. Everyone wanted to be fighting. Everyone want be wanting to fight you to spank you. Cool, cool people. Also, you can pay your payment with the... Um, dollar sign wars and do that story though. Um, yeah, definitely will, man. Um, the post is a little bit um, hard to understand, but still, thank you so much, Bobby. Um, what? Holy shit! Damn, son, where'd you find this? Um, can you please play the Cory in the House game or watch Steven Universe, Etika? They're both based on Chibi anime. I know, Cory in the House is my favorite anime. Damn, her brother! Holy shit. Damn, girl. The five of us are basically like family, so I decided to add it in. Oh, come on, that's so cute. Aww. I guess to see Ikaruga, who's like such a strong figure, to cry like that, it's kind of shocking for Asuka. Damn, oh, son, nice. where'd you find this? Um, the Ami Blade. Etika, I think I know why you like Yagyu. It's because she reminds you of Tharja? Yeah. I think, I think my man Ami hit that shit right on the head. I like Yagyu because she reminds me of Tharja. Fuck, nigga. That was so on point. Like, I'd never even thought of that myself. There's just, I guess I'm just all about that quiet, kind of like secretive, um, inverted girl who, you know, doesn't give her emotions to anybody. But, oh man, damn. Man, training's got me worn out again today. But I can't complain. I gotta get stronger. Omura, why do the Hobijo girls have to be so focused on fighting to grow more powerful? Is there no other way? Here we go, baby. I can sense one or two enemies in the area. And here we go, we got this Homura girl again. Um, distressed Dark Skin donated saying, Hey boss! <laughs> hey boss! This is my last donation, because my whole house just closed. I'm going to whoop your ass, by the way. Anyway, I decided to recruit the Lemon Stealing Whore, and now she works for me. Alright, I'm going to take this code, man, because I'm going to have to send your ass back to Filthy Frank. Um, but there's a midget amp Like, this dude, all he is is his references. Um, anyways, now no one will interrupt us, so... 
Oh, Mora wants a one on one. Okay. The entire student body slaughtered. This bitch is really going to the max. You'd really involve innocence in this. Why would you do something so awful? Awful? Isn't it obvious? Shinobi are awful by nature. What the fuck is this girl talking about? That's not the path of the Shinobi. She's too cute and dark skinned to be acting so fucked up. Why don't you explain this to him? Well, I don't understand it either. Egg on your face says the Tharja feels. Yeah, I never even realized that. But even if I don't know right now, someday I will, and I can tell you. You can tell me nothing. You're not walking away from here alive. You sensed it earlier, didn't you? I'm not here alone. Oh shit. Let's go, Ikaruga! Ooh, let's go! One Shinobi versus a whole mob. I thought Shinobi had honor about them, but why is Homura here trying to fight somebody with multiple members in her group when they only have one person? I don't like that. That's the shit I don't like, Homura. This is a bitch. <laughs> You're all here. You all came. Let's fuck this bitch up sideways. Homura, she's a bad bitch, man. Like, she's a problem, to be honest with you guys. Um, but she's cute. Like, I feel like she's one of the best looking girls in this goddamn game. I like her look better than Asuka, but Asuka's personality is a million times better than Hamura. Hamura's a fucking bitch. I'll tell you that much. So let's see what we can do. Okay, whoop. I don't know if I like Asuka's gameplay so much, but I can deal. Let's go, come on. Hey. Hey. Let's go, transform. So I leveled up a little bit from last time. So, I have a lot of combos available to me when I go Shinobi mode. You guys are going to see how well I am at pulling these off. Not too good with Asuka. Hers are a bit more tough for me to get the grasp on, but I feel like I can, I can bust a match if I really need to. So let me put some work in. I need to let, take a look at the cues here. Hey, let's go. Hey, let's go. Mm. Hey, Woo. let's go. Ah, I love that one right there. That's the flash kick right there. That's the flash kick right there. S slice them niggas. I love the sound effect when he, um, excuse me, when um Asuka slices someone. Let me see, how do I do that combo? It was a special one I wanted to do. Come on, come on, how do you do that? How do you do that shit? There we go, okay, I think that was the one. There we go. Okay, that's how you do the flash kick. I think that was the thing, yeah. Because um, the flash kick usually has a really big area when you're able to pull that off. And I call it the flash kick because it kind of looks like it. It's like the flip up. So I usually try to hit that. Um, so you do it after she does the two stabs. So Flash kick. There we go. I got it now. Let's go. There we go. Let's go. Oh, shit already? Now, you see, one thing I do like about Asuka is when her clothing gets ripped, it's actually pretty damn satisfying um, in comparison to some of the other pieces of clothing. I love that spin, yo. Hey. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Mix it up with the specials. Oh, I missed him. Let's go. Oh yeah, I forgot she has that tornado thing. That shit has great area coverage, yo. Um, let's go, man. Let's go. Um, it looked like for a second I said intercept hand jobs. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just a observation there. But um, I really do need to do the Yin mode at some point as well. But the Yang is so easy to level up because obviously Shinobi transformations are something that you're going to constantly be using in this game. So I don't know. I guess I gotta really do the um, frantic mode more frequently if I want to get the Yin meter up. 
So let's see what's going on. Blitmaster donated a dollar saying, you'll find out more about the Hibijo Shinobi by playing their part of the story and why they're like that. Fun fact, Senran Kagura Burst is practically two games in one. Really now? The original game only had the Hanzo side. The Hibijo was added later. Really now? So this is a big game that I'm into right now. So we got a lot of progression ahead of us in terms of development of the characters and whatnot. So there's a lot to look forward to, which I'm excited about. It makes things a lot more um, entertaining for us. Let me just go back here real quick because I think I have my power saver settings on. Yeah, off. Damn, there we son, go. where'd you find this? And now let's get back to the game. Resume. Uh, Five dollars from Plasma Stormer. I was gonna play Limbo, but then this popped up. These are also my first donations ever. Holy shit! And I give the money to you because you're awesome. You definitely need to do a reaction video to the anime of this game. If you think it's that worth watching, then I definitely will consider it. Um, thank you so much, man. Your first donation, and it happens to be to me. You know I'm going to use that money right. I'm going to go to Vegas and gamble it all away, bro. <laughs> oh, man. But okay, so let's continue this now. Um, since I turned power saver mode off, the game looks a lot better for you guys. So, um, yeah, we're pretty much solid here. Let's continue. Who on who? Hey. Um... Me and you, obviously. Fine, I'll do it. You should try fighting in a more open area. It works out for you, too. You won't have to worry about the other students. The way do you want to do this, then? First, read this. So, Homura is trying to set up Asuka with a one-on-one, -on -one, but I wouldn't trust it, considering that Homura seems to be on some real dirty shit whenever she comes around. Um... Which is a shame, considering how clean she looks. But, uh, you know what? It's fine. We're gonna have to deal. So let's start the mission. It's probably gonna be a Asuka exclusive. So, let's see what's going on here. Chapter 2. What the fuck? Is that Asuka? Wait a minute. Oh no, that's Ikaruga. So, it's Ikaruga versus Yomi. Who the fuck is Yomi? A summon from a Hibijo student. Your opponent's a Hibijo. It won't likely be a one-on-one, -on -one, so don't drop your guard. I'm glad they at least go in there thinking logically. She's inviting you out for a one-on-one. -on -one. It damn sure ain't gonna be a one-on-one. -on -one. Don't start nothing, there won't be nothing, nigga. Let's go. Where are you? Came as you requested. Um, let me just check something real quick. I want to see what kind of stats we have, you know, because I'm curious to see if you guys even are excited about the Center and Kagura segment. I need to know where you're passion is with this whole thing. Alright, so we got 537 viewers. That's a pretty damn good amount. You know, I announced the stream relatively late, so to have numbers like that, was a good showing. Um, where are you? Okay. Wow. Did you see that? God damn, bro. I mean, are you sure she's a student? None of these girls are students. Like, god damn. That was fucking insane. She bowed and like her breasts were like, no, we need to be free. God damn. This is Yomi. Well, if it isn't the princess, I must apologize for the meager accommodations. Um, I, I suppose if you must. No need to be so tense. This isn't a trap after all. I'm sure it's not. By the way, I love that western style outfit. It's very pretty. Did your parents buy it for you? What are you trying to say? I'm sure you grew up with no end of love and affection. All cuddles and kisses and hugs and so on. Never wanting anything. Never wanting for anything. Yo! This Yomi girl looks sweet on the outside, but I feel like there's something kind of twisted with her. Um, someone in the comments said, do these girls have some nice feet? What the fuck? <laughs> That's your concern right now? There's some serious shit going on. Although, I can understand your concern, but right now, there's some wild shit going on. Someone's about to get fucking murked. Um... I'm so sorry to inconvenience you, but you came here to die? Holy shit, the game sergeant. Just want to say, love your videos. Also, irrelevant. But I'm actually an MP in the army. Um, military professional, so you got some support from the military in a sense. Also, if you like this game, you might like Conception 2 for the 3DS. At least it has higher frame rates. Consider playing it? Conception 2. Sounds like an interesting title, man. I'll definitely will put that in my checkout list later on. It's basically where I check out random things. Conception. Too. There we go. So, yeah, I definitely will, man. And thank you once again, man. Um, to get support from the U.S. Army, someone from the military actually purchased my chair as well, too. Crazy stuff, man. I know those guys in the military can be some of the most giving, selfless people out there. Considering you're giving your life to fight for a country, man. It's appreciated. Thank you 
for the donation and thank you so much for your service. That's, that's really appreciated. Um, but damn, this Yomi girl, she's probably in the military talking like that. God damn. And do you see that sword behind her? This is a serious chick right here. It's a shame for you to meet your fate in such a desolate and lonely place, but the school's order is absolute. Understood. Well, in that case, for justice sake, I will not abide you. This Yomi girl is fucking serious. Um, so these are all girls that are part of the Hebijo clan, right? So obviously at some point we're going to be able to play as them, considering what people have told me. So there's a lot more for us to learn about these girls. And we shouldn't just judge them off the, you know, off the bat like that. Let's go. Let's defeat Yomi, man. Let me get my combo set up. Okay, there we go. I like having the combo window open. Hey. Let's transform. Shinobi <laughs> Um, You know, my preferences change with the weather, but I can say Ikaruga is definitely, like, probably my second favorite girl in the group. Um, it was Ibari, but you know, when you consider personality and whatnot, um, Ikaruga, she interests me as well. So. Let me see if I can remember the combos here. Oh yeah, there we go, the helicopter. And her range is so good. Dude. Hey. One more time. Hey. Ooh. Let's go. Let's go! Let's go, Ikaruga! Yo, she is so badass. 521 hit combo, maybe! Go, no, don't let it go, don't let it go! Come on, let's keep this shit up. Let's go, one more time, Ikaruga. Let's go, baby. I love that fucking smash with the kick. She just goes down with it. Like, goddamn! Come on, let's not drop that combo. And that move is really good as well, too, because it covers every single part of her. If you know what I mean. Ikaruga! No, the combo's gone! Alright, I fucked up. Come on, let's get a better... Here we go. Oh yeah, we dropped that combo at the end, but the, the match is basically over at that point, so it's all good. It is pointless to continue fighting. Well, what makes you say that? Because I have got no desire to kill you. Is that so? Well, I, I greatly appreciate your concern, but unfortunately, I do have to kill you. But what I have to say is because you're a princess, and princesses deserve only death. So she's got somewhat of a personal vendetta against Ikaruga. I'd recommend Persona 3 and 4. They're a lot better than Conception 2. No, really, they're a lot better. <laughs> God damn, Link Master, at least have some. He's a he's a member of the United States Army, man, or some army. Like, damn, bro, you're gonna just shit on him. Um, there's Persona Q on the 3DS, and that's a really good game too. Um, I've heard nothing but great things from Persona, so I understand. But damn, don't play games with me. That is not a worthy reason. This girl, Yomi, has some personal vendetta against um, Ikaruga, which is interesting because it seems like all the... This ought to be fun. What does she do? She seems so serious, but how is such a... How is such a clumsy looking girl have such a grudge? Well, she's gonna get fucked up. She can block? Really? Let's fuck her up. Let's fuck her up. Let's fuck her up. Ikaruga, you Ikaruga, she ain't got shit on you. Damn. Hey. Another special. Wow. Her shit is like popping out of the other. She ain't doing shit to us right now. These PvP battles are really easy. 
she can block, though. She does a lot of damage per strike. One more time, baby. One more time. Damn! Oh, she has a lot of health. Not anymore, though. Finish it off with a special. Never mind. There, was, there wasn't even enough time for that shit. Let's go, baby. So this girl has a real princess complex, apparently, because um, she keeps referencing Ikaruga as a princess, even though I don't think that's the case. But maybe because Ikaruga was adopted into a prestigious shinobi family and then given um, Hain. Is that what her sword is? Hain? I guess that's how she considers her being a princess, per se, but not in like the literal sense. Either way, um, we fucked up Yomi, so there's no problem here, unless the story has it so that Ikaruga gets fucked up instead. I don't know. I feel like something like that is probably going to be done. Um, Etika, do a pussy reveal for the 200k. Nah. Nah. Jab resets, baby. Oh, come on. Don't tell me chronologically Ikaruga gets fucked up. What's the meaning of this? I struck you down, but you seem unhurt. Elegant though your strikes may be, they cannot harm me. Oh, but this is the perfect time to stop. I declare this mission a success. And so I bid you adieu. I don't know if it's a foie de gras or truffles that you eat, but enjoy your little rest regardless. Wait, you said you had to kill me to complete your mission. What the hell is the meaning of this? You should be murking me right now. <laughs> Those who sneer at bean sprouts will someday die by bean sprouts. That is the meaning of this. What the fuck are you talking about, Yomi? Bruh donated a dollar saying, Bro, I found your Iceman mixtape on my iPod. Have you ever heard of Life is Strange? It's an awesome game. I love you, nigga. I watched a couple people play through it. It's really fun. Um, what the fuck is the deal with this Yomi girl? Though? We're going to save for now. Hokkaidi! Oh, Let's go. Um, next mission. Let's not waste any time. Um, in fact, I actually do want to change uh, Ikaruga's outfit because... I don't know. This one's cool, but I like the regular Hanzo one better. The thick socks aren't my thing, but this one is. It's definitely my thing. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit more. Humor, you know? I mean, I usually like having everybody in the black uniform, but hey. So now we have more missions. Let's go. So this one involves Katsuragi versus Hikage. So that's the green haired girl. Time to fuck her shit up sideways this time. Um, I don't know how much time passed in terms of like chronological order from the last match, but hopefully Katsuragi has you know leveled up a bit. Um, you know, one thing about Katsuragi as well, too, that makes her seem like a really deep character is that she acts all friendly and outgoing when she's around her friends. But when she's by herself and, you know, thinking to herself, her voice changes and becomes way more deep. Like, her, everything about her personality just goes up a level and becomes so intense. And um, Ikaru, I mean, excuse me, and Katsuragi just becomes this really fierce character who, who has such a dark history. And, and you hear it come out in her voice. Like, li listen to her voice right now. So this is that Hikage girl who fucked her up before. I figured it would be you. Um, damn. Yep. I guess you're still about the stabby. What the hell does that mean? Um, this ought to be a good fight. A good fight? Yeah, fighting a good opponent gets my blood pumping. Why is that? It's with you. You don't seem to be into this. Um, I've been training ever since we last met. Alright, well, see you later. Okay, well, you don't get to call me out here and then run off. So, Katsuragi's looking for a fight, man. Um, from Timorous Bad Zero, I've seen you before. Um, bro, you will love Steven Universe. It is a kid's show with space lesbians and dark in the story episodes. I already know Garnet would be your space waifu. Steven Universe. Okay, so we got a fight going on with my girl, Katsuragi. She ain't the waifu, she's not the waifu, but she's still cool as fuck. I like how her air combo gets really low to the ground when she has her school uniform on. Linkmaster said there's a lot of reasons why Yomi doesn't like Ikaruga. Again, we'll find out more about the character's backstory as you continue on through the game. There's some heavy stuff going on in their lives in both the Hanzo and Hadija. That 
Man, that's pretty damn obvious at this point. These girls are in a much deeper situation than it seems from the outside. Let's go, Katsuragi. Katsuragi is really badass though. Like I said, she's not waifu status with me, but she's an interesting character. Um, let's see. Omni says, Etika, the deal with Yomi is that she has fucking massive tits, which is the case with all these girls. Um, she reminds me of Charlotte in Fire Emblem Fates. So for those watching, get Fire Emblem Fates for Nomura Waifus. That's a pretty obvious lesson, bro. Everyone, get Fire Emblem Fates for Nomura Waifus. Um, I like Ikaruga's regular costume, um, but this one I wanted to try out. Ikaruga's so fucking crazy. Oh yeah, she has that multiple kick combo. And apparently Ikaruga is the strongest one in um, Hanzo. Hey! Her combos are so interesting. And this level is really nice to look at, man. We have like a city background going on. Let's see how long we can keep the combo going. Hey, let's go! Ikaruga! Damn, son, where'd you find this? Um, fam, you're gonna wanna check your Twitter after this. I'm gonna raise your shit. What the fuck? Let's go, man, let's continue this. Come on, Ikaruga, don't drop the combo! Fuck. God damn it. Come on, girl, let's go. The theme is pretty cool too. Can you guys hear the music good? Yeah, of course you can. Let's do another one. Yagyu for Smash. I wish that could happen. Three dollars from um, Dark Scradle. Damn son, where'd you find this? That's that's what happens, man, when you donate. Damn, what the fuck's going on? Hey, let's go. Let's, I love this fucking move, man. The fucking Kamehameha wave. I gotta show you guys that one in detail. So, the thing that she does with this move is she flicks like this. And that does like a blast, apparently. But I want to know, like, why is it that it's a flick? Is it like something like like referencing her her uncanniness for grabbing the other girl's boobs? Like, I don't know. I feel like that's something like that. Oh shit! What the fuck? Oh, it's loading. Okay, here we go. Wow, our shit's getting really fucked up. I never saw this outfit in this stage. So that's interesting. Hey, I can't turn that one around. Wow, she's like wearing practically fucking nothing. Holy crap. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Power blast, baby. That was nice. That was fucking nice. Flash kick. Hey, straight down, baby. Let's go fuck with them. Let's go fuck with them. Hey. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Oh, let's go, baby. God damn. Oh, Katsuragi, let's go. I always get Katsuragi and Ikaruga mixed up. Maybe because they're both the oldest girls in um, Hanzo. Hey! Hey, let's fuck him up! Flash kick, baby. Hey! Hey! Let's keep it going. Let's fuck him up down there. Fuck him up! Let's go! Yo! Yo! Katsuragi! 
so her, she's basically chasing that. She's basically chasing that Hibijo girl up to the roof, apparently. Let's shoot him with the laser. There we go. That'll keep our combo going. Hey. Hey. Hey, get down there. And spin him up, baby. God damn, this girl's good. Holy shit. Yo, she is so goddamn real, man. Playing with Katsuragi, it's probably the most, like, probably one of the most fun experiences, man. Because it's it's just so satisfying to hear the kicks just fucking, and then the spin. Mm. So how's that? After I lost to you, I trained like crazy. Now fight. Why should I? Why should I? Because I want to make sure I really did get stronger. So, anyone would do for that. But that wouldn't mean anything. Why not? It'd show that you're strong, wouldn't it? If you don't fight me, I'll never be able to relax. You're strong, so I want to fight you. Don't you get it? Nope. Not even a little. God damn it. Okay, so no biggie. I'll just let my fist do the explaining. God damn! Katsuragi, that's what I'm talking about. Why are you even talking in the first place? She should have just jumped this girl from the get-go. But I guess that's not the shinobi way, so she's trying to be all kind about it. Like, hey, I do want to fight you, so if you could engage me in combat, that would be great. Katsuragi, put your foot up her ass already! Why are you even waiting for? She should have kicked that smirk off her face like 10 minutes ago. Someone said, what could possibly... You see her clothing? Is our clothes... Is our clothes still messed up? So let's go, we got Hikage. Our clothes are still ripped. Why can they block? Let me fuck up these goons first. That hurt. A dollar from Chatty Fancy. Ah, we in here. Nice to be here, man. Um, uh, also, my Bay Hikage. You will come to learn Yayu is a much different character from Tharja. Yeah, I figured as much. I don't think... I didn't think they were really the same, but they kind of have, like, the same kind of, you know, aesthetic to them. Sort of. Filthy Frank donated saying, give me the pussy, boss. Oh shit, we actually got hit? Oh, she got hit. Oh, we, oh is she bleeding at some point? Let's go! Katsuragi! Chatty, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to fuck up your waifu. Oh shit! <laughs> Lotion boys, we in here! <laughs> Lotion boys! <laughs> oh shit! Wait a minute, we have no more clothes to- Oh wait, why is she glowing red? Look how fast she's moving! Oh shit! We gotta fuck up the goons. Let's fuck her up. Ooh! We finish it with the last kick too, huh? With the last kick too. Katsuragi is definitely the most badass member of the group. She's easily the most badass member of the group. Like, I thought maybe it was a tie between her and Ikaruga, but nah. Katsuragi holds it down for being the most badass girl in Hanzo. Because her personality combined with her fighting style and her arrogance well, maybe not her. She's not really arrogant per se, but like her, her hot bloodedness. Like, oh, it comes together so well to make a badass character, who at the same time does have some a soft side to her as well too, you know. But um, yeah, Katsuragi easily the most badass member of the group, without a doubt. And she's so anxious to fucking fuck someone up all the time. New music track. Let's go, baby. Um, but goddamn, did you see the way Hikage's fucking Clothes were. Look at that! Like, goddamn, bro! Like, it's, like, <laughs> oh man, these girls are like basically naked at this point. 
and of course they're still concentrating on the matter at hand and not covering up in the first place. All right, I won. Check me out. Thank you. That was a great fight. Let's shake on it. Oh, Katsuragi, she's so honorable. The game sergeant says MP stands for military police. Oh, some music and Smash related. Smash and AOT related. Check it out later if you want to hear it. Here's the link. So uh, I definitely will check it out. Let me grab this real quick. Copy that shit. Paste it down here. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? There we go. Um... Fist of Jendo says, um, Hey, Etika, I met you at Nebula Smash Tournament about early spring. You came to Nebula and I saw you and called you out on a chair and we met. Anyways, dope stream so far. Thank you, man. Um, Nebula was so long ago. I know they're trying to resurrect it at some point, right? So um, if they do manage to pull it off, I'll definitely be showing up again. I talked to um, I talked to Austin a bit more about it. Tre um, Trevor. So, I mean, hey, we'll see where things go from here. The fight's over. It means no hard feelings. Katsuragi, she's so fucking cute. She's like, oh, I just busted your ass. So, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, make sure we're still on a good note. I mean, I did win, but I mean, hey, we can still be cool. Um, you're about to be disappointed. You make no sense. Besides, you didn't really win, you know. What are you, some kind of sore loser? Are you pissed that I beat you? Egg on your face donated a dollar saying, I leave for two minutes and come back to Cat Topless. Be right back, getting some lotion. Nah, bro, you ain't gotta leave. I got plenty of lotion for you right here, man. It's all good. You're fine, man. We we ready. Lotion boys. We, we lubed up. Lubed up, boy. <laughs> That's so fucking gay. I used this. Lubed up, boys. But, um, okay. Let me see here. How many? How many? We got 648 viewers. So the amount of viewers shoots up after the girls wind up being topless. I love it. I absolutely love it. I know you love it too. Jesus. Um, let me see. Filtering? Let me try no filter. Uh, I've never been pissed. Huh? Happy, sad. I just don't get it. So this is more of a robot kind of girl. I don't have any feelings. No feelings. Like, cutting up and laughing with your friends or enjoying some delicious food? You don't get any of that? No clue what you're talking about. Oh, shit. You're kidding, right? Nope. But I'm telling you, you may think you won, but you didn't. You'll see what I mean soon enough. What the fuck is wrong with her? All right, so Damn, of course son, I guess we would run into a person this? like that in a game like this. Katsuragi's Kamehameha is probably a super double nipple flick, but damn, the bust size of these girls is too damn high. I swear, man. I mean, god damn, bro. I agree with you, man. Omni, it's like I mean, but yeah, Katsuragi, her nipple thing, it's like I thought at one point that Katsuragi was doing like a literal energy blast, which kind of surprised me because I said to myself, whoa, I thought she was mostly like kick related, but she has like an energy blast because when you see her charging up for it, she goes like, and then, but I looked closer and I see it's a fucking flick. So I'm like, what the fuck? Why does that exert so much energy? But I'm guessing it's because she knows how to flick the nipples. Look at the flick of the nip, <laughs> that nip. <laughs> The nip! <laughs> oh man. Look at the flick of the nip! <laughs> Look at the flick of the nip! <laughs> okay, let's continue. Uh, we got my girl. My girl. Candidate for waifu. Yagyu. Let's go. Versus Mirai's. Let's go, Yagyu. You got this, girl. This is a candidate for the waifu right here. She ain't the waifu just yet. But she's in the running. She's in the running, okay? I woke up feeling like I was on the breast. <laughs> I woke up feeling like I didn't get no Damn, rest. Son, where'd you um, find this? Infinity Alex saying, here's a dollar. Now get stripping, bitch. Wait, this is the strip club, right? You couldn't tell me no different considering the nature of this game. Um, Let me see here. Okay, here we go. I think we're good. I just want to make sure the quality looks good. My linear. Yeah, there we go. It was stupid of you to come here alone. So, basically, we're having a session where it's just all of the Hanzo girls versus the Hibijo girls. And it's just a fucking straight-out brawl. One-on-one -on -one matches to try to see who can overtake who. And so far, it seems like Hanzo is in the lead here. For the most part, it seems like these guys were ahead. Um, 
uh, Ikaruga was able to beat out, what was her name? Um, Yo 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 Yoki? Yuki? Something like that. And um, we have Katsuragi able to beat out, um, Katsuragi was able to beat out, damn, you know, these names. I'm not going to be able to memorize them until I actually see these girls more. But we have Miri, uh, Mirai here, who seems to be the Wally of the group. Whoa, easy with the cutting. Are all Hanzo students such cowards? Ah, quit it. What's your hurry? I don't have time to deal with you. Let's go! Really? You're ignoring me. That just makes me want to fight you that much more. Hurry up then. I have to get to Hibari. Let's go, man. Someone said my favorite is Katsuragi. Damn, yeah, I can understand son, that. Where'd you find this? Infinity Alex says, I was talking to you. You know what to do now. Man, I'm about to hit you with one of these. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Thank you, though, man. Let's go. My girl, Yagyu. I like her theme, too. Her theme is really cool. And she's more of a slow ninja, but she still does damage. Let's transform. Ah, let's go. <laughs> Goddamn. Oh, I didn't even remember that I had the, um, the Shrine Maiden girl outfit for her. I think it looks good. I think it looks damn good. Let's go. My girl Yagyu. Let's go. Her combos are so vicious, yo. Come on, baby. Let's continue the combo going. Um, Drass Silver. You should also try Moe Chronicle for the Vita. It's legit good green with legit rubbing. If you want to support my broke ass, I can send you a Reef Flink. Oh shit, okay. Thank you, man. Send me a message on send me a message on Gmail. Bam! Let's go. Hey, I love that one. Six, six, six hits. Bam. I love this one. And she just drops the fucking kunai. And her theme is so badass. Yo, man, this is my girl. This is my girl. She has the gun. No, we lost the combo. Yeah, we oh, we didn't lose it. Let's go. This is why this is a waifu candidate right here. This is a waifu candidate right here. Let's go. That's a waifu candidate, boy. Especially looking like that. God damn. Come on. Come on. Let's keep our heads in the game. We're trying to get combo, boys. Hey. Hey, let's go. I you see I really find no practical use for that other combo. The one where she like runs with the gun and shoots. It's this one. Yeah, there's really not that much practical use for that one. It misses most of the time. Okay, here we go. So now we're ready for the actual fight. We're going to be fighting this Mirai girl. Um, someone said Yagyu is the best waifu. I definitely agree. Um, you're not half bad, but now it's time to pull out all the stops. So let's see what this little, uh, what this little Lolita is going to do. And I call her that because she has like that Lolita outfit. Is that what you call it? Like the, the Lolita, the gothic Lolita thing going on? Um, yeah. My girlfriend was actually into clothing like that for a little while when we first met. Um, whoa. Would you please just let me finish? So Yagyu is like swinging at her to try to cut her head off or something. Um, and this girl, meanwhile, is trying to like just feel her out. But Yagyu is all business, man. She doesn't play around. And so for some reason, that's extremely appealing to me. I, I don't get it why, but it is. Um, I'm in a hurry. You're still ignoring me. 
Don't mess with me. No one gets away with ignoring me. I'm going to slice you to ribbons, so let's see what you're going to do. What are you talking about? I have no interest in you. God damn, Yagyu. All business. Then I'll give you a reason to be interested. Okay. Fine. As you wish. For justice sake, I would not abide you. So, um, let's see what happens here, man. It's Mirai girl. She definitely seems to be like the youngest ninja Damn, in both son, you groups. This? I will not allow anyone to ignore me. Um, Link Macedonia is saying you should save the Kenobi transformation for when you're in trouble, since it'll heal the character and buff them up. Really now? Okay. Bam! Um. Oh damn, our outfit is already fucked up. How frustrating. Frustrating is one word for you, Yagyu. But you don't see me complaining. Fuck her up! Let's go. What the hell? Oh my god, wait a minute, hold on. This is actually a little girl. Wait, how bad is the clothing damage going to get here? How bad is this going to get? Hey. Got him. Wow. Okay, they didn't make hers as extreme as the other girls. Thankfully. Because that is clearly an underage girl right there. <laughs> but I'm glad they kept... Oh, only a C? That's really bad, actually. I haven't gotten a C in a long time. Yosh. Damn, Yagyu, I kind of disgraced you right there. We need to do that one over again, off camera, because um, that was really bad. Someone said, so I'm behind on this live stream with all the times I paused. Wow. Wow, look at these girls, man. You're still ignoring me. Well, fine, I get it. I get it, she's a lowly, she's a lolly, but she wants someone to notice her because she's always being ignored. She wants Senpai to notice her. I get it. I fucking get it, bro. It makes Damn, sense now. Son, where'd you find this? A dollar from Plasma Stormer. I saw a video of you when you were at Evo. You were giving hand signs to the camera and then some crazy guy jumped around. You look so damn confused. I remember that video. Um, Katsuragi is my favorite in this game. Her Shinobi transformation though. Yeah, when it gets real close to her, she's like, mm. And it just, all you just see is the juggling. Just fucking crazy, man. I swear, I will make sure you can't ignore me. Even if I have to chase you to the ends of the earth. Mirai is on some other shit. I'm going to make sure you don't ignore me. Like, um, that sounds just like senpai. That, that sounds like some senpai complex right there. Someone said, is this North America? Yes, it is, my friend. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see here. Um, Kibari versus Haruka. So let's do this one. Um, let's go. Mirai wants Etika Senpai to notice her. She ain't gonna get noticed at all acting like that, man. Mirai is a little crazy in my opinion. Um, Ludes everywhere, so let's see. Um, Hibari, there's no one here. Maybe I came to the wrong place. Okay, then. Do you see what's going on here? Like, I mean, I know this is the trend in this game, but these girls, it seems like every single new girl that's introduced has even more, even more revealing clothing than the last one. I mean, besides, I guess, Mirai. She doesn't count in the equation. She's not considered, you know, one of these girls, but I mean, good God almighty. Um, so here you are. A little late, aren't we? 
I'm sorry? What took you so long? I'm sure you didn't get lost. I was nervous, you know? My legs were kind of shaky. Oh, you poor dear. So, this um, Haruka girl seems like she's a bit older than Hibari. Or all the girls for that instance. Um, you're so precious. What? Your terrified expression thrills me. It's delightful. I simply must tease you. A dollar from Chatty Phantomy. Mirai is as old as the other girls, you jerk. She is just petite. Just because she doesn't have cow tits like the others. Oh, really? Wait a minute, so Mirai is like 17, 18? Like, what the fuck, really? That's crazy. Um. Alright. Although I find that very hard to believe, but, uh, I guess so. I mean. I've been with petite girls before, so I guess, you know, I understand. Um, let's see. It's not enough, though. I need to take things even further. What the fuck? What? I need you to be more scared. Fearful. Indeed. Show me absolute mortal terror. So this girl, Haruka, gets turned on by some sick, twisted shit. Like, she's into some dank shit, man. <laughs> um, someone said, give me the pussy. Hey boss, <laughs> you need a pussy. <laughs> you get the pussy, please? Um, hey, will your strength match up to that of my little dollies? Haruka, what are you wearing in public, girl? God damn. I mean, you know, I'm not opposed to eye candy. Eye candy is a wonderful thing in this world. It really is. I appreciate any that comes across, but god damn, Haruka. What are you wearing, girl? It's bad. It's damn bad, but god damn. So let's go. So I actually do like playing with Ibari. I probably know her fighting style the best out of all the girls. Zihoi is donated saying more like most of the girls are 15 through 17 actually. Seriously? 15? If they're only 15, how'd they get away with making them look like this? Damn, 15? Are they looking like this? Maybe in the United States they boosted up their age or something because... I know in Japan the standards for, um, I know the standards are a little bit different over there when it comes to who's legal and who ain't. Hey. Let's go. Let's go, Ibari. Um, Omni says I gotta go now, but thanks for the stream. But shit. Yagyu's jiggle physics are on point. I know, with the with the maiden outfit, it's crazy. P.S. Would appreciate a follow if you're willing, but I get it if you don't want to. Um, Omni Blade, I'm gonna be able to remember that for later on, so I got you later. And I love Hibari's theme too. Like this shit is actually like engaging. Let's go, Hibari. I ain't trying to get a C rank with you. Let's go. That fucking rabbit. <laughs> that special though. <laughs> she just falls on him. You can't really combo out of it though, so I'm not gonna be using that one again. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Um, let me see. Link Master says it's Japan, don't worry about it. Um Yeah, the AIDS thing is always a bit confusing in these games, but hey. Okay, so usually when there's not that many enemies on the screen, things are a bit more fluid. Let's see here. Sorry to break it to you, Radical, but your waifu is underage. Yaku's only 16. You fucking sickos. Well, I mean, considering the fact that it is an anime at the end of the day here. And as long as it stays the fantasy, then I mean, hey. But still. God damn, how the fuck did they get away with this in America? <laughs> These fucking... <laughs> this shit is fucking ridiculous. The gameplay good though. Yeah, Hibari, I fucked shit up with her. That rabbit, yo. Let's go. One more time, baby. One more time, bring him down. Bam. Oh. Damn, there was no more of them actually. And Hibari's other special? It's a little bit odd because. Is he dead? Okay. Let's see how many people this special actually hits. 
because it's it functions a little weird. Like it doesn't really do that many hits, and it just kind of runs through. I'm not even sure if you can really combo up this thing that well. That doesn't seem like it though. Oh yeah, you can. Hey, let's go. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Um, someone says they're not aged up in the English releases. Their age isn't mentioned at all. Also, Mirai has more range capability and was hitting you a lot more than you Lotus. That's the C rank. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, so Mirai is way more range, as you're saying? Okay. And ages aren't even mentioned in, Eng in the English release, which it, they damn sure better not be. This game wouldn't be allowed if they mentioned how old these girls are for their localization, that's for sure. Um, good. Very good. I got chills. The way I usually approach it is this, and I'll leave this as for you guys officially. Um, usually the way I approach it is, if the girls in like these anime games and these dating RPG simulators, etc, etc, when it's transferred over to the United States and localized for our region, Naturally, they boost up everything so that the appropriate behavior is attributed to the appropriate age group and whatnot. Because obviously, if that wasn't the case, then the game wouldn't be able to be localized whatsoever. And if there was a situation that had some kind of implementation, impl um, excuse me, um, implication of their age, and it being an issue for the region, then it would be censored. Considering that none of this is censored here in the United States as of its localized release, it only means that at the end of the day, what they basically did was age them up, or at least not officially age them up, I guess, because the, he says that their age is never really officially mentioned in the English localizations or whatever, but it's kind of like a, like a, they, they do so anyways, and if there was a scene that involves something crazy, then the game wouldn't have been localized in the first place, or that scene would have been censored. So, as far as I see it, I don't think anyone needs to be calling anyone anything in regards to this stuff, unless, like, the, the girl specifically mentioned, hey, this girl is X age in X region doing X activity. Then you got a problem, but if they're engaging in these kinds of acts and these kinds of things are happening to them, and I mean, there's no age being mentioned in the, in the English release, at least in America, then I don't think there's nothing to worry about because Nintendo's saying, hey, these things wouldn't be happening unless they were legally of age to do so. So I, I don't know. I consider that argument whenever I go about these things. Um, it's especially true in Fire Emblem Awakening where some of the girls do seem younger than others, Lissa, definitely, but they're still able to do things like be in relationships and have children and whatnot. It's kind of crazy when you think about it, but I think, like, I think that that's what Nintendo and other gaming companies do as well. They age them up or age them down. Well, actually, I don't think they've ever had the need to age down anyone, but they age them up when they need to be aged up. Um, and if they don't have to list their official ages anywhere, then they won't. That's how I look at it. Um, anyways, so such intensity from a cornered little mouse. I can't resist. It's been so long since I felt this way. Baruch is into some shit. Uh, let me see. The age that's legal in Japan is 13, believe it or not. I've heard, man. I don't know what the fuck's going on over there. I, I brought this up. I brought this up in one of my previous videos as well, too, talking about Xenoblade Chronicles X and how I'm one of the characters. I mean, I don't know. Because then people say the swimsuit argument and whatnot, I don't know. I, at the end of the day here, I feel like the localizations make it so that things are aged up appropriately for the situations that they're in. And if they weren't, then it would be illegal and the game wouldn't be released, so consider that. Um, yes, I've done a splendid idea. I can turn you into a doll and use you as a decoration in my room. Would you like that? Your entire body would be encased in wax. What the fuck? But I'd leave your face uncovered, of course. I simply couldn't go without being able to see your expressions. Which is crazy, because this girl, um... She's basically, I guess, just saying this to Hibari so she could fuck with her and get a response out of her. Um, egg on your face says, I want to shower, but I don't want to stop watching the stream. What do I do? Grab a Ziploc bag and put my phone in it? Yep. That works, man. Why don't you do that? Fuck up your phone on my behalf. Um, you know what, I know all the donations are going to Egg on Your Face's new phone for when he fucks his shit up in the shower. Um, like I would ever think that. But as a doll, you wouldn't be much of a burden on anyone, right? Oh, she hit her hard. Okay, she cut her deep with that one. She said, if you're a doll, then you wouldn't be a burden on your friends. And yeah, yeah, this Haruka, that's a mean-spirited bitch right there. <laughs> well, I was just thinking that out loud. Um, I take it I hit the nail on the head? Alright, I knew it. A child like you is simply excess baggage to the world of Shinobi, right? Holy shit. I am not baggage. <laughs> nice. You'll have to show me some proof. Enough talking. I will show you. For justice sake, I will not abide you. 
So this is actually something that all the girls said at one point, I believe. For justice sake, I will not abide you. So let's go. Justice, baby. Let's go. Haruka! God fucking damn! I, I mean, to be honest with you guys, I feel like Haruka probably has the most ridiculous dimensions out of everybody else in this game. Because that intro scene was fucking bananas. <laughs> it seriously was. It seriously was. But okay, guys, you ready? Let's go. Let's fuck her up real good. She welcomes the shit. Wow. That was a pretty brutal kick, actually. She, like, just kicked the shit out of us. Haruka, what the fuck? So it seems like Haruka's fighting style is kind of, like, similar to Hibari, whereas she just straight up knuckle brawler. Someone said, boobs are boobs. What are you going to do from Spicy Turtle? Doko, 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 doko. Let's finish her off in a nice way. And she just... Fucking lays down on him. Bam! Haruka's into some shit! You saw her, she had the Ahago face! What the fuck? Yo, that is a that is a problem. And only a B rank. Come on. That is a problem. What the fuck is this girl into? That intro was holy oranges. Someone said, what the fuck, that ass? I want her ass now. Call out jiggle tits when you see one. This one, the comments are going insane right now. Damn, Haruka looks great. She is a masochist. Her outfit, my dick, the juggle strong with this one. Um, revenge wrecked, never forget. Give me the boozy ball. <laughs> Yo, Haruka, man. Damn, she son, is on a this? totally different level from every single other character. Link Master said, I'm sure Senra and Kagura sexualized underage girls are not as bad as someone like Ellie from The Last of Us, who's 14, killing human beings. Then again, that's just me. Yeah, the United States has some really strange double standards, man. Um, Damn, what can son, I say, man? That's just the way this? society works for now. Um, hey, boss. Well, I know what the best kind of lotion is for a fat. We're going to stock some lotion up in my warehouse for masturbator spectators. Uh, right now, my warehouse is stocked with Johnson's baby lotion. Any tips on the best lotion I can buy? Um, dark skin, man. I, I don't know, man. I only trust one brand, and that's Corel. But find it for, <laughs> find it for nine ninety five in your local Rite Aid or CVS pharmacy. Yeah, that was my attempt at trying to look like I'm being paid by them. Did it work? How I beat you? Very impressive. You made short work of my doll. Doll? You mean I was fighting a puppet? How could you call it a puppet? It was my lovely doll made in my own image. No, I tried so hard. I can do it if I try, you said. <clears throat> These are the words of the finest human beings. They're, they're just baggage. This is the best you can do. Damn. She's fucking up Ibari's head right now. Now just hush and let me make you one of my dollies. Damn. Well, perhaps not. That should be enough playtime for today. We'll meet again, my little doll. God damn, Haruka's into some fucked up shit. Why didn't she finish me off? Hibari, why are you gonna accept your f why, why, why are you gonna accept your death like that? Like, I wish Hibari would grab herself by the balls every now and then and kind of, you know, hey, hey, don't fuck with me, man. I'm fucking Hibari. I come from a long line of shinobi, apparently, and if you mess with me, you're gonna get your ass tossed. And trust me, Haruka got a lot of ass to toss. So I mean, hey, Hibari could have fucked her up. So let's see what's going on here. What's the next thing we should do here? So we have Asuka versus Homura. This is the final one. Let's go. This one is going to be pretty damn serious. Um, I'm here, Himura, just like you asked. Someone said, no Johns, Haruka? I hear that, man. No fucking Johns. What would this accomplish? What's the point? The point? I'm from the Heibijo school, and you're from the Hanzo school. Isn't that enough? You think that's enough reason for us to kill each other? 
Plenty enough. War happens everywhere in the world. What more reason do we need? But I just don't get it. But you don't need to get it. I'm done talking, but I will show you how beautiful death can be. Damn, this from Mura girl's fucked up. You're a stubborn fool, Mura. Yeah, she's really fucked up. Someone said, what is the plot, honestly? Right now, it seems like the main focus is the fact that these Hibijo girls are trying to assassinate the Hanzo school. And um, we're learning some backstory to the um, we're learning some backstory to the Hibijo girls while we continue this. Um, someone said plays a play a sword rap is so hype I already know. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Hmm. Hey. Let's go. I want to get to the fight already. I wonder when we're going to finally learn more about the Hibijo girls and why the hell they're doing this. Because I think at some point it's pretty obvious that the Hibijo girls become good guys. So I'm curious as to what's driving them to do this against the Hanzo clan right now. Oh fuck, we're getting fucked up. Let's transform. Let's go, baby. Asuka, it's time. It's time. It's time, baby. It's time, baby. Let's go. That move is so good for combos. Let's go. Flash kick. Let's go. Oh, and we got a new Yang mode art apparently too. So we have an extra combo to add on, I think. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. That was pretty damn good. I'm trying to get an A rank with this shit. Promise me, Hamora, that if I win, you'll leave the Hanzo Academy alone. If you win, eh? Fine, I promise. It's not like you have the slightest chance anyway. I've been training in preparation for the next time we fought. I'll win. I have to. So, I don't know how much time passed from the first encounter up until now. It seems like enough time because these girls are whipping the Hibijo asses. If you get in my way, I'll destroy you. One thing I'll give, one thing I'll give this Homura girl is that she is badass. She has like six swords. Let's fuck her up. Let's go, baby. Oh, that's a fuck up right there. Woo! Damn, so if you leave her tornado thing for longer, then she does it for longer. Oh shit, yeah, she bought this up. Yeah, she bought this up real good. Fuck. Fuck that one up. Wow. Let's go. We're gonna finish this shit right now. 
Let's fucking go, baby. Oh, she still, she still got some fight in her. Not for long. That's fucking ooh, the double slash. The way she, I love that shit. The way she just fucking swings that shit. She just says, "No, fuck out of here. Get the, get the fuck out of here. Let's go." Okay, B rank, not too bad. We did take a lot of damage at one point, so I'm guessing that's the reason why we didn't get an A rank. I suppose in order to get an A rank, you can't like get your clothes ripped off at one point anytime. We got a new technique though, and we got a new flash technique apparently too. No idea what the hell that is. And we have new outfits as well too, guys. So a lot of new stuff. Well, I'm not now that we um, have beaten the entire clan. Um, let me see what's going on here. Wow, did I win? Amora. And you know, the crazy thing is, I think Amora's like only went through one stage of the clothing rip. So there's another stage underneath this? Bro. I mean, Hamura's bad as hell, but I mean, still, come on, man. <laughs> like, she's wearing practically nothing at this point. But you don't look hurt at all. Well, let me ask you this. How do you intend to use your power, and what will you accomplish with it? The power of the Shinobi is the power to protect what's most important. Okay, well, then tell me. Are you prepared to, are you prepared to kill to protect what's important to you? If you don't kill me, then the fight will go on. I'll go after your oh so dear friends, your school, whatever it takes until my last breath. If you can't deal with that, then kill me. But I can't. Then your destiny is for me to kill you. I think we're done talking, and I've taken enough of your time. Homura is kind of, she's a little bit too rough in my opinion, but I guess that's part of the personality of what makes the Hibijo the Hibijo, man. I mean, obviously she's the leader of the group. Someone said, like, Etika, let me suck that big black broski. What the fuck? Um, wow. So for now, we pretty much beat... Well, I mean, we didn't beat them per se. If you go chronologically speaking, some of the members of the um, Hanzo managed to beat the Hibijo in the second confrontation, but it's not across the board. Um, for example, Hibari is in a pretty goddamn bad position because she was basically embarrassed by um, Haruka. And then we have um, we have um, Yagyu who managed to mess up that Mirai girl really badly to the point where Mirai wants, um, she wants Yagyu to notice her at this point, which is pretty fucking funny. Um, Katsuragi and um, Hikari? Hikari? I don't remember her name. But um, I, I guess maybe we can see it from if we go to the records. Let's save the game real quick. Oh yeah, Hikage, yeah. Uh, I was kind of close. Um, when it came to Katsuragi and Hikage, uh, Hikage kind of did get beaten, but she didn't admit to it in a way. And revealed that she has some pretty big mental damage going on with her. Um, but I guess it, I, maybe you shouldn't call it damage. The most interesting interaction out of all of them, to be honest with you guys, was the one between Yomi and Ikaruga, because that one, for some reason, it, 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 she seemed to have this issue with Ikaruga and this whole princess thing, and apparently we just found out that Ikaruga had a brother who wanted to be a shinobi, who was trying to gain the family heirloom sword, and um, Ikaruga just excused his ass. Really interesting backstory, man. But for now, we are pretty much done, guys. Um, we are one hour and 30 minutes in for the stream. I think that's a good amount of gameplay going for now. Um, right now, if we go to the missions, let me see, what else is left? We have chapter three. Well, we finished chapter two, guys. All that work, chapter two is finally done. What can I say, man? Um, I'm really feeling this game right now. Uh, and I don't mean that in a joking kind of way, but I am really feeling it. I'm curious to see where this is all going to head to. Um, it seems like the main plot focus right now is these two schools fighting each other, but at some point there's going to have to be a common denominator and an enemy that they both need to stand up against. I'm waiting for that time to happen. Will it happen in this game or in the next one that's apparently included in this one? I don't know. But either way, I had a damn good time playing this and I hope you guys had an even better time watching it. Uh, I know the stream probably didn't pick up to a thousand the way that it usually did before, so it makes me wonder if some people are still interested in this, but still, I can definitely tell we have an audience watching this. Um, I'm glad you guys could join me for it, man. And before we end, we definitely have to raid someone's ass. So for now, what we're going to do is go to the web browser and uh, get this party started, man. Let me just copy my um, 3DS um, chat window here. We gotta send you guys to somebody, so um, let's go to the browser. 
Okay, so we are in the browser now. We are about to get this shit started. Uh, let me see, let me see. There we go. Okay, so guys, let's go. Let's fuck up somebody real quick. Um, and I don't mean so with knives or blades or swords. I mean so with uh, with a Twitch, with their stream. So let's go. Um, we're going to go to Twitch real quick. Let's find somebody to raid real fast. Um, so we have the cat here, but we already gave him the raid love. Let's find somebody else that we can fuck up. Oh, we got Foe in the building. Foe, okay, so you know what? I'm going to go to him. I'm going to copy his link. It's twitch.tv slash 141. I'm going to take this right now. And I'm going to copy it and paste it into the stream's chat. So prepare yourselves because this link is definitely going up. Um, you guys are probably going to see the link before I'm able to um, actually show it on the stream. But for now, let's, let's go here. And now I'm in the stream's chat. I'm just going to start posting it. Go ahead and give Foe some Etical World Network love, man. Um, he's going to ask you guys what game you were playing or what game you were watching before coming to him. Don't tell him. Don't tell him because he's going to be like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> A game with just nothing but tits and ass on these on these questionable age girls? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Let's just go raid him. Let's just go raid his ass. Um, let's give Foe some love, man. We in here. All right. Just want to see what he has to say. There is a link to my here. Twitter and every social media that I have in the world besides Tumblr. There you go. All right. I actually feel like going Robin again. He's going Robin, really. Now. Where's Robin? This time, guys, we must go Red Robin. Oh shit, Red uh, Robin. Let's go, man. Email face. All of my who is this guy? Yo, no freaking way. No freaking way. Is that Let's really Etika, though? Is that Etika? Yo, Etica we in here, really baby. Etica we in here. We what in here, baby. On, guys, Bo, what's going on? What's up? What's up? He I chose the Red Robin. Etika at the, uh, the Evo party. Yeah, and man. Then, or Evo party at Gameworks. And then I met him at Evo on the way to the venue. And I was like, yo, Etika, this is my first time here. Um, where exactly is the venue? And he was like, oh, go that way. So then yeah, we I fucked up. In the wrong I fucked up. <laughs> Until finally he catches up with us. It's like, yo, I led you in the wrong direction. Good yeah, old I felt Etika. bad about that. I felt he bad about that. But what I told him the guys? wrong way to yo, go. Etika it was fucked tall. up. It was Etika fucked up. So yeah, I, everyone says I'm tall. I don't know. Man, I, I, I guess I am. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yo, we in here, man. Red Robin. Does he even know that I'm... Does he Does he know that this is my main? I think he chose Red Robin without even knowing that that was my main. What are the chances that I choose to raid him at the exact same time that he chooses the main that I have and the color that I have for it? Pretty convincing stuff here, man. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoy your time with Foe. Um, I'm going to close this out for now. And uh, for the most part, I had a damn good time, man. This was a really fun stream. Well, guys, I hate to end it on such an abrupt notice. Um, thank you guys who managed to contribute so much to help my ass out. I appreciate it to the maximum. And um, you can best believe that any of the donations that you guys met will made will be um, put directly towards keeping my ass alive. You got that? No hookers, no drinks. Well, maybe a drink or two. You gotta, you gotta forgive me for that. But, but no hookers at all. <laughs> no, no lap dances. This is all gonna be used for bills, bills and food. You guys got it. Thank you so much for all the help, guys. Have fun at full stream, and I will talk to you dudes in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. And uh, thank you to all you that are watching this on YouTube after the fact. I'm about to go take a piss. Later.
Damn, son, where'd you find this? 